Drawing in pen can be a bit intimidating when you are first introduced to it, but I want to give you some tips so you can start drawing in ballpoint pen on your own. Hello everyone, it is Shipwreck Smith here, and today I'm going to be talking about why this thing is awesome. I used to hate drawing in ballpoint pens for the main reason of you can't fix your mistakes and once you put something down, it's there and you can't make it go away. And that kept me from drawing in ballpoint pen for a long time, but I have recently started to realize how much I love drawing with these and here's why. The fact that you can't fix all of your mistakes actually helps you to combat perfectionism and be more loose with your sketches and get work done faster. The first thing I want to talk about is just creating lines and a few different ways to go about it. Now, the cool thing about ballpoint pens compared to other pens like fine tip, felt tip pens, or any kind of brush pen is that you do have a lot of weight variation. If you use it very lightly, you can create a line that is barely visible and that is great for construction lines, for creating things that you don't want to be seen in the finished drawing. And then when it's time to actually lock in your lines, you can create really dark lines with a pen compared to a pencil especially. You just want to make sure to not draw lines very dark until you're ready to lock in lines that you want to keep. There is also a key point to how you go about with your strokes. In ballpoint pens, it's a bit easier to notice when your lines are shaky, and so it would be good to do an exercise where you practice creating loose, flowing lines. Because if you try to draw a line slowly, especially if it's a round line, it's going to come out a bit bumpy. And then you also make sure to create it lightly so you can adjust it later. So now that we know more about actually creating lines and then locking in the lines we want to keep, let's get into shading tactics. There are a few different ways you can shade, and there are more options than the ones I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you three different ones. The first one I'm going to show you is drawing shade lines that go with the object you are drawing. So if you're trying to create an object that looks 3D, this is a method you can use when you're shading. So I went ahead and shaded in the circle and with just creating a shade by drawing lines in one direction, keeping that direction consistent. And the key to shading is to build up in layers. Start really light and then keep adding and adding as you go because with pen, you can't undo it. And so start light and build up from there until you get to something you're happy with. This method is pretty popular if you're trying to create 3D looking objects, or you can do this next method, which is what I use for a more cartoon look. I also create a base shading for this circle, and then for actually creating the shadow, I created straight lines that went against the lines of the circle. I created diag diagonal lines to shade in the entire circle, and then I put lines in the opposite diagonal direction to shade, and the contrast is almost like a cross-hatching method that gives more contrast to your shaded areas and I save this method for when I'm shading. I personally prefer it. It does save a bit more time and takes less time than the first method and it still gets the point across. And then the last method I'm going to show is simply cross hatching and I am not super experienced in cross hatching because it's not my preferred method. It's pretty self explanatory and you can see it here where you just create lines in one direction and then create lines in the opposite direction as much or as little as you want to emphasize the amount of shading you want. There's a lot of other methods out there and you're welcome to experiment with different ways you want to try and shade but now I'm going to go into applying all of these tips into an example I sketched Mickey Mouse and I had to create three circles for the construction lines and I wanted to show how when it's finished you can't really even see the construction lines that I created. I kept adjusting the size of the ears and the size of the nose and kept tweaking things and that's okay because when I was done you couldn't even notice. I used the second method of shading for shading in the ears and also with the mouth I created vertical lines to shade the mouth and then horizontal lines to shade it in even more. And a personal preference I do just because of my artistic style and something I like to do is I just create a thick black border around my sketches. I just like it because it makes it pop, but it's definitely something you don't have to do. And sometimes I don't do it if I want to have more of a rough sketch look. Also, you can see in the drawing where I use different line weight variations to have 
different intensities of shading. Some are very subtle and some are very intense and so it just depends on the area of the drawing I'm using it in. Well, those are my tips for ballpoint pens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you. I wanted to share my love for ballpoint pens by creating this video and also because it's Inktober and I have been using ballpoint pens for all of my sketches. It's all I've been using all month long straight in ballpoint pen sketches without planning it out in pencil first. I mentioned this in a sketchbook Sunday video but I share all of my Inktober drawings and my daily sketches over on my Tumblr and so I'll put a link to that somewhere so you guys can go check it out. So if you already draw in ballpoint pen or it's something you want to get started on please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it and also tag me on Tumblr and let me see your pen drawings because I would love to see what you guys create. And if you're new around here, I create new videos every Friday and Sunday. F Fridays I create tutorial videos like this one, and on Sundays is my Sketchbook Sunday series where I take drawing requests from you guys. So if you want to see a drawing created by me, be sure to comment on one of those Sketchbook Sundays videos and you might see your drawing created. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to join my pirate crew by hitting subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.